name is Jonathan Froze and I have grown up in the small town of Belton, Texas. Downtown Belton has always been known to be empty old buildings, but one particular building has stood the test of time since 1922, a classic single screen movie theater that has lived over 100 years. What is so special about the Beltonian? So, uh, my name is David Lee. I grew up in the area. Uh, grew up actually in Troy. Uh, my family is both from the Temple Belton area. My name is Nancy Kelsey and I'm chairman of the Bell County Historical Commission. So the Beltonian is a one screen theater uh, built in downtown Belton when the, the town center was really the center of uh, the economy. It's also the center of culture. Sure, I'm Zechariah Baker. I'm the owner of the Beltonian Theater. Well, we have unique programming is what really sets us apart. We don't show new movies. We do classic movies. Uh, we do live events, concerts, ladies nights, karaoke nights, private events and rentals. Um, no running in the Beltonian Theater Haunted House. If you haven't paid yet, step right up over here. You're the fresh meat. A little over 50 years ago, a little girl was killed outside the steps of the Beltonian Theater. She was hit by a car tragically and her name is Mary. And Mary's a spirit that haunts the Beltonian Theater. Uh, Mary is jealous and powerful. She haunts the place where there's a lot of joy and happiness and she doesn't get to take in part in any of it. She haunts the Beltonian Theater year round and it's my hope when I throw the haunted houses each year that she'll get enough scares out of people to leave me as alone as possible throughout the year. I'm trying to appease my spirit. It was considered a major form of entertainment and it was one of one that they had started in Central Texas and it had the moving pictures. So that was the big deal to have moving pictures. Belton is a small community, especially in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, is a small town, and it really brought the people out. If you look at, especially World War II, uh, the, th that's where we got our news. There, you didn't have, you know, an app that, that beeped to say, hey, something important is happening. We actually used the movie theaters uh, to have newsreels and also to help the, the war effort. So that was really at the heart of that. And I think that's a big reason why the Beltonian was popular. Well, actually, and I don't know the exact time frame, it was closed for a while. Having been owned and operated many different times by many different people over the years, there is a sense of the Beltonian is kind of in the background Every time it closes, it's just kind of there. People have been, people come back, it closes, they come back again, it closes. New businesses fail so often. Small businesses, um, you see them starting up all the time, but you don't always see when they go away. So I think surviving as a movie theater for all these years, it's, it hasn't been continuously. But the reason it would have survived the time that it did was sort of like I said, yes, it's, it's a form of entertainment or amusement is what they called it in the newspapers. I owned the operation for six months and then, uh, and so I never owned the building. When I uh, stepped away and ended that relationship, uh, they ended up uh, closing the Beltonian. Just as a child uh, growing up in the area and, and going to that movie theater, uh, it actually closed uh, probably before the Arcadia did in Temple. And so um, the location that I'm at in downtown Belton, there's really a big revitalization going on. Lots of new businesses opening, um, really uh, interest in the city and the community to be present in downtown Belton and to have fun. And it wouldn't have just been for Belton people. The people in all these smaller towns would have also been coming in, especially on Saturday. That's the mother and the father come into town and shop or go to market days or something. The kids go to the movies. Um, people are moving from California to Austin. They're moving from Austin to here. Um, so there's really a lot of new blood, new fresh faces, new perspectives coming into the area. I would say that uh, prior to the Beltonian coming back in 2007, um, downtown revitalization was still just an experiment. A lot of people weren't sure what was going to happen. When the Beltonian came in and did that, it, it literally put a bright spot in downtown with the neon. And it brought some life that hadn't been there. It's, there was a reason to be in downtown Belton now in the evenings, not just during the day. Well, I think that's the, the feeling of the past because the neon lights would probably be from the 50s and 60s. And so now if you look at Belton, 
outside the Beltonian, just downtown Belton, it is not uncommon to see a lot of nightlife. Anytime somebody comes to me with an idea, hey, I want to do this fundraiser, or I want to do a free screening of this, or uh, let's try this event, I want to rent the theater and do this. I mean, I almost never say no to any partnership or any kind of opportunity. Um, I really like to make the theater available to ideas and the community. And you just have so many things that are now happening, and really the impetus for that was the restoration of the Beltonian. And then and once that was restored, more and more people started using uh, the grants available through the city to improve the facade or the front or the look of, the, of downtown. You look at the treasure that is downtown and a lot of times having this bright neon is a huge heart uh, of, of what Belton is. During the renovation process years ago, um, before I bought the theater, they maintained a lot of things about the theater that were present before. And there are those aspects of, you know, really tying in to uh, the past. Because I love to show movies that have been on the screen in the past, in the 50s or the 60s or the 70s. Um, it really is hard to find good quality pictures and information about the Beltonian Theater. We're going on dates for um, kids meeting there to go to movies. I know that's what we used to do. There'd be like three or four people, we or young people, we would get together and go to movies. Um, I'm Barbara Truax. Went to school at Mary Harden Baylor in 1960. We were restricted as to the amount of time that we could be off campus. Certain days, we had certain amount, weekends we could go. Uh, during the week, we could have one night we could go somewhere, but we had to be in quite early. And um, so oftentimes we'd choose to go there because we could have more time together than to drive to Temple or Colleen. I like old things, I like history, I like, and that's, there's several spots down there, but the Beltonian is one that is history to me. That's where my husband and I went on our first date. There was a group of about eight of us, but that being a first for us was um, something we like to talk about. After 50 years, if you can still remember the same spot where you had your first date, that's, that's memorable. And the place has been there where we could go back and look and see the actual spot, and it looks the same almost. If we hadn't gotten older and my husband slowing down with cancer and whatever, we would have gone. It was a lasting relationship. If he were here, he'd still be here. You know, I mean, stuck together, we were two peas in a pod. That's the only movie I remember that we seen when we were going together was The Story of Ruth. And that's what we seen that night. I truly enjoyed the movie. That little spot strip down there, downtown, seems to have changed less than anything around. And it's neat to go back and see uh, what was there and what's still there. There's some things they're keeping as a matter of history, but the comment was made is you don't see many theaters like that anymore. Well, I hope the Beltonian stays, but it, it, it had a place in our heart, still has a place in my heart. I mean, the whole theater was ours.